This is my Nerf gun fire strike pistol and it definitely is cyberpunk. It definitely has cyberpunk written all over it. I like the fact that when you squeeze the second trigger not only does it have an actual functioning laser sight, that window on the side actually lights up and it looks quite effective on camera, it actually lights. It's very Blade Runner-ish in nature because of that. It looks like it could be a gun from the Blade Runner universe. Cocks and fires one shot at a time. I did mine in matte black with chrome details and it looks really, really nice. I did it to match my Cyberpunk weapons collection. It's just basic matte black and chrome. It looks very gothic y, very slick, very sleek, very covert. I managed to do that detailing by doing the whole gun in chrome first and then blue tacked a two peak coin onto the disc. That's where the Nerf logo was. What I did was just took my dog and uh, wore away to make it flat to get rid of that Nerf logo. Blue tacked a 2P coin onto it and then when I spray painted the black on top and removed the coin, perfect disc. Also I did the chrome detailing in that groove by putting blue tack in it. I used a blob of blue tack and used a handle of a paintbrush to shape it so it didn't overflow onto the body, onto the body work. Um, when I spray painted the black paint on top, when it dried, just removed the blue tack. And the windows on there, I've seen so many Nerf enthusiasts just painting their guns and then they need white spirit to remove the paint off the windows when, they, when the guns have glowing LEDs. I didn't want to have to go through all that hassle. So I used a blob of blue tack to cover up the windows on the side and then when the paint job is totally finished, just remove blue tack. You can also use liquid latex for the same technique. If, you, if your gun has glowing lights on it and you want to cover up the windows, you can use liquid latex to cover up the, with the, the little windows and that has the same effect. So you don't spray paint over the windows. And it works. It's a method that works, I just use blue tack to cover up the windows. This beautiful chrome cyberpunk gun started life as a strong arm. It used to be a strong arm and now it isn't. I took inspiration from Blade Runner to make this one. I actually cut away the bodywork, removed the ammo drum and reattached the barrel to the front of the bodywork. So I've significantly cut down the bodywork, kind of turning it into a sawn off. The cocking handle, you can still cock it, but it no longer fires. It's just a static prop. I just use this as a cyberpunk cosplay prop. It can be used as a movie prop, it is film quality as well, but it no longer actually fires anything. So it's just down to the actors to pretend to fire it and then I add in the special effects later. You can still press the button and you can still squeeze the trigger, but that's all it does now. I did a beautiful chrome finish and then dry brushed it with black. I just watered down loads of paint in a bowl and then blobbed it on with a brush and then wiped it with a cloth and I did that over and over again to weather it and darken up the chrome finish paint job on the slide, I used a 3D textured paint from Wilco's. This kind of paint is fantastic. It basically it's like liquid polystyrene and it squirts out and you can cover something with it. And when it dries it goes rock hard with a textured finish and it's perfect for making grips. I use it for the grips on my Nerf guns. I use it for the grips on my homemade melee weapons and sci-fi weapons. I use it on my sonic screwdrivers and it gives a texture for gripping so that when you cock it, you've got a, a nice grip on it and it's a textured feel. And then I dry brushed black on top of that and it came out looking beautiful. 
it actually looks like a film quality prop now. It's a nice huge handgun. I'm going to build a, a gun holster for it eventually. I might do a, an underarm gun holster or I might do a leg holster for it. No longer functions at all, so it's just used as a static prop. But it looks good. It looks interesting. It's something different. This could be a villain's personal sidearm. I've already got plenty of hero weapons. I need more weapons for villains and henchmen and stuff like that. So this would be good original weapon design for a bad guy to use. It's something different because it's a nerf gun, but nobody knows what kind. People go, hang on, what, what, which gun is that? And it's because it used to be a strong arm and I chopped up the bodywork, this removed the ammo drum entirely and reattached the barrel to the end of the bodywork and now it's completely transformed into an entirely new gun design so that makes it original. <laughs>